kid? What is it with the... Is it Christmas time or what? The hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Frank. Back again, you know what I'm saying? With another reaction video of the day today. As you guys already know, today we're going to be reacting to... Moscow's Travel Guide 2022, the best places to visit in Russia in 2022. Damn, I feel like I feel like the nighttime in Russia is like so 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 clean. That's why I feel like I feel like it's, it looks so nice. I can't lie, but so far so good. But anyways, if you guys are new, welcome to my channel. I'm Franklin Tony. I do reaction videos all the way from Canada. So if you guys are new, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year, guys. It's three more days. Three more days to the end of the year before let's re let's get to 3,000 subscribers and guys 95% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel 95% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel Please hit that subscribe button guys let's get to 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year I really appreciate that guys and also guys don't forget to comment down in the comment section your thoughts or opinion on Moscow Down in the comment section below and also feel free to let me know what videos you guys love to see me react to down in the comment section below So without me saying too much yeah Let's go into the video. Let's see, let's see what we got going on. History and vibrant. Moscow is one of Europe's most fascinating cities with a rich history and vibrant, awe-inspiring architecture that can't be found anywhere else. With over 11 million residents, Moscow is one of the world's most populous cities. 11, 11 million people in Moscow. In just in one city alone. 11 million. What's Russia's population? Someone let me know down in the comment section. But this hasn't changed the city's rich cultural and social traditions. It's difficult to determine what century you're in if you walk the cobblestone walkways of Red Square or the banks of the Moskva River early in the morning. Tsarist architecture, must-see churches, and opulent shopping choices combine for an unforgettable visual experience. We'll take a deeper look at some of the top spots to visit in Moscow in this video. Hopefully, we will be able to assist you in making the most of your visit to this beautiful city. Before we go any further, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our new videos. Let's get started without wasting any time. Hey, sorry about that, guys. Kremlin. Get started without wasting any time. Let's go, guys. Number one, the Kremlin. The Kremlin, Kremlin. a 15th century fortified complex. Well, you know what's crazy? In Kremlin, I see almost every YouTuber that like does videos. Like I know I've seen Eddie from Russia. Then there's this one. Uh, is it 1420? 1420. They they do they they've done the video here. So like I feel like every every YouTuber in Russia has like has been to this place. Has been to this place. But Complex know. covering 275,000 square meters and ringed by walls built in 1400s is without a doubt Moscow's most recognizable landmark. The Grand Kremlin Palace, which contains approximately 700 rooms, was originally the home of the Tsar family and is now the formal residence of the Russian Federation's president. Though most heads of state prefer to live somewhere else, many other structures are also part of the huge complex, some of which are open to the public and can be visited on a regular basis. Apart from three cathedrals, one of which was historically used to crown Tsars and a number of towers, the Kremlin also houses the Armory Building, a museum that houses everything from the royal crown and imperial vehicles to Ivan the Terrible's Whoa. ivory throne and Faber Jacks. That's crazy. 2. Bolshoi Theater Bolshoi When visiting Theater. Moscow, you must pay a visit to the Bolshoi Theater if you enjoy music, art, or culture. It's this looks so nice. Like I like I like how there's like the light, bro. Just do you guys see it? The light just makes everything look like wow, fantastic. Still I one of the most romantic and exciting venues to spend an evening. Yeah, and then like in the morning it doesn't really look that good. In the morning it doesn't really look that good. 150 years after it first opened, throughout the year the Russian ballet and opera perform in the sixth tier theater. Oh, if you really want to watch a performance at the Bolshoi, last minute tickets are extremely difficult to come by. So. If this is in your Moscow agenda, make a reservation as soon as you know your travel dates. The simplest and most obvious step is to attend a performance. It's hard to ignore a jam-packed events calendar, including world-class and experimental performances of Russian and foreign classics. The only drawback is that performances can be costly and sell out rapidly. Don't panic if one is out of your price range or- Damn! Damn! Fully, fully booked. A guided tour of the theater. That is crazy. Whoo! Wow. Wow. But that's crazy. So like, it, it costs like it costs really a lot to like stay in this place, right? Like, it, guys, let me know that comes session. Like, 
So if you want to get into this place, you have to book ahead of time so you can find a place to sit because it gets like sold out so quick. That's sick. It actually looks nice on the inside. I like it. Damn. Lasting over an hour is available. As a result, you won't miss out on witnessing one of Moscow's most famous monuments. 3. Gum. Gum is a must-see in gum. Moscow. Gum, like, gum, like chewing gum. Like, the, the gum you chew in your mouth? Why didn't it mean gum? Even if you don't enjoy shopping, if you're looking for some shopping therapy on your trip to Moscow, this should be your first stop. It's just across the street from the famed hey. Red Square. Hey! Hey! Okay. Okay. What is it with the... Is it Christmas time or what? There's no way this is like... This always shines at night like this. Wow. Wow, okay. Okay, okay, a gum. I see you guys, I see you. The store was constructed in the 1890s, and the architecture is breathtaking. Since then, it's been added, and the glass-roofed arcade is a beautiful spot to walk around. Gum also includes a variety of eateries, which are ideal if you've worked up an appetite going around Red Square and the Kremlin. Since this is Russia's most prestigious department store, the obvious responses to shop. Gum is home to boutiques such as Cartier and Dior. If your okay. budget doesn't allow for it, there are other budget-friendly okay. solutions, such as Zara. If you've neglected to carry something essential, Gum is not only a retail mall, but it also has a number of restaurants and cafes. There's also a movie, so you should be able to keep the kids entertained for a couple of hours. Four. I like gum. I like I like gum. I want to go to gum. I, I like the nighttime at gum. It looks so nice. It looks so nice. But I feel like why does it look like there, they, why does it look like there, there wasn't that much uh there wasn't that much stuff in uh in gum. Also, guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like the video, guys. Let's get to three thousand subscribers before the end of before the end of this week. Before the end of this week, let's get to three thousand subscribers. Lenin's mausoleum, there. the mausoleum of Vladimir Lenin, the Soviet leader's ultimate burial place, is located in the heart of Red Square. Since his death in 1924, his remains has been in the mausoleum, and while the original idea was for him to be buried after a brief period of public display for sorrow, that plan was immediately revised. After nearly 100,000 people visited the tomb over the course of six weeks, it was deemed that a new sarcophagus and a more permanent exhibition area would allow Lenin's body to be preserved for far longer than planned. And Len That is, wait, so, wait, so Lenin's body's in this place. Sorry guys, Lenin's body's in this place. What the hell? Of Vladimir Lenin, the Soviet leader's ultimate burial place is located in the heart of Red Square. Since his death in 1924, his remains has been in the mausoleum, and while the original idea was for him to be buried after a brief period of public display for sorrow. Wait, so every single leader that's that's ruled russia's like all their remains all their dead bodies in here yo what the heck that's scary imagine working here damn that would be so scary what the heck that plan was immediately revised after nearly 100,000 people visited the tomb over the course of six weeks it was deemed that a new sarcophagus and a more permanent exhibition area would allow lenin's body to be preserved for far longer than planned, and Lenin's mausoleum was created. Over time, the mausoleum and its marble stairs became the primary vantage point from which Soviet authorities observed parades and events in Red Square. Lenin's imam body is still on display today, resting in a bulletproof glass Oh, so, um, I forgot what the, what you guys call this place again. So, this place, sorry guys, so this place is close to this, so it's close to Lenin. Oh, so they're all like... Kind of close together. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. That makes sense. Lenin's imam body is still on display today, resting in a bulletproof glass sarcophagus. While visit to the mausoleum is unique, it has become a must-do for history enthusiasts interested in learning more about how Lenin's legacy transformed the country. However, be prepared to wait. There are usually queues to get in. You guys know. You guys know that in history, in my history class, we learn about like uh, like Russian Revolution. And like we learned about like Lenin, Lenin, Putin, no Putin, what am I saying? Lenin, um, God, there's so many people. Lenin, Stalin, 
Another of them. Five, Red Square. Red Square is Red home Square. to some of Moscow's most well-known landmarks. The ancient Market Square is now home to St. Basil's Cathedral, Lenin's Mausoleum, and the Kremlin. The Cobblestone Square is undoubtedly Moscow's most popular tourist attraction and has witnessed many historical Damn. Russian events. Ooh. Public executions, protests, and parades are all examples of historical occurrences. Even an inner... Public executions in front of this beautiful place. Damn, why? Protests and parades are all examples of historical occurrences. Even an intercontinental ballistic missile has passed through the square. It wasn't armed at the time, which was fortunate. So, where do we begin? First and foremost, take a stroll around the square. Taking photos and admiring the lovely architecture that surrounds it will undoubtedly take up a significant amount of time here. Then there's the decision of what to do first. Red Square is a great place to spend an entire day. Do you visit St. Basil's Cathedral, the most prominent yeah, Russian Basil's Orthodox Ca Church? Wow, so they are not that far. So from Lenin to St. Oh, they're not that far. So from Lenin's, Lenin, Lenin's, uh, like where they keep his body, to St. Basil's Cathedral, then to the, um, to Gom. Damn, then to Gom. That's crazy. You might also visit the Kremlin, one of Moscow's most important political and historical sites. Other landmarks in Moscow worth visiting during your Red Square day include Lenin's Mausoleum and the State History Museum. The region also has some of Moscow's greatest hostels, so you can make it your home base for a while. 6. Moscow Metro, one of the oldest and most popular metro systems in the world. Its stations are historically significant because their construction was exceedingly ornate and was designed to promote communist superiority. The metro's construction began in the 1930s and it first opened in 1935. The metro was built with the intention of instilling in the populace a belief in Stalin's rule. The metro stations were constructed with such care and attention to detail that the Moscow metro system is now considered one of the most ambitious architectural projects ever undertaken. The first 13 metro stations, in particular, became famous around the world and served yeah, as the- But you know what's crazy? And it's on the- Woo! Damn. And you guys know what's crazy? It's underground. Like, it's under the ground. And it looks so clean. But if you go to the United States and you go underground for and you go underground for a train, I'm in Canada, guys. Some of you guys mistake me for being American. I'm not American. I'm not American. I'm I'm can I'm Canadian from Canada. But if you go to the United States, like underground, it's so dirty. Like it's so dirty and disgusting. But I'm surprised how to keep this place really clean. I really like that. So which means these guys they love to preserve the culture and everything. I like that. Shout out to them, though. Shout out to them. The ultimate tool for persuading Moscow residents to support the communist dictatorship. As they rode the metro every day, the future and grandeur of the Stalinist era were offered to them. The metro's first four stages, completed in 1953, are the most attractive. From so on, the brilliant beauty that entered the station significantly decreased. 7. Tretiakov Gallery, an art Trevyakov. gallery that began as a Trevyakov Gallery. Urchin's personal collection, and now houses over 130,000 works of art from throughout Russia's history. When Moscow merchant Pavel Mikhailovich Tretiakov's massive personal collection of over 2,000 paintings was permanently put on display for the Russian public in 1893, oh, wow. the gallery was established. Originally housed in a tiny structure immediately south of the Kremlin, the gallery increased significantly in size as it accumulated more and more art over the 20th century. The State Tretiakov Gallery offers wow. a unique perspective on Russian art history that can't be found in a place else. It offers a what art what what art is this, guys? If you guys if you guys be, have been here, uh, what art what, what art is this? Is this is this Jesus and his twelve disciples? Why is it is it what the art of a but yeah, is this, is this the GS art? It looks so different, but damn. A unique perspective on Russian art, history that can't be found in a place else. It yeah. immerses you with works of art by painters from the 10th century onwards. Works that might otherwise go unnoticed or unappreciated. The gallery is a significant contribution to our understanding of the sources of inspiration for notable Russian artists of the 20th century. Its massive collection of 130,000 things is spread up over 62 rooms, making for a really instructive experience. 8. Arbat Street, 
The one kilometer long pedestrian street in Moscow dates back to the 15th century. Originally a trading route on the outside of town, Arbet Street is today a bustling commercial district with posh buildings and a plethora of restaurants and shops. Okay. Beautiful street lamps and two notable statues, one of Princess Torandot from Puccini's last opera and the other of Soviet Union. Damn, these shops look so nice. Look, oh, wow. Oh, this is actually good. That's for actually poet good. Bielan Okajava, adorn the boulevard, which is bustling with locals and tourists on weekends. Arbet Street is a nice spot to pick up souvenirs or sit at an outside cafe. And it also gives you the opportunity to see the former residence of poet Alexander Pushkin, as well as the cafe where Anton Chekhov and Leo Tal's toy used to meet. 9. Gorky Park This 300-acre park is the ideal place to escape the hustle and bustle of daily life and enjoy some well-deserved relaxation. Gorky Park is a favorite among locals and tourists alike. It's one of the best venues. It actually looks nice. You can just sit down. It actually looks nice. You just sit down, chill, and everything. Wait, in Gorky pa Park, right? In Gorky Park, can some of you guys... In Gorky pa Park, can some of you guys sit down and like eat like on the grass or on the floor stuff like that can you guys do that in gorky park use it in moscow for a variety of activities russian retirees are battling it out over chess cats are sunning themselves on the wide open green meadows and families are enjoying a day out together it's tough not to fall in love with the gorgeous atmosphere gorky park is a terrific site to visit if you're looking for a last minute moscow vacation idea regardless of the season are you planning a trip to moscow in the winter Take advantage of one of the city's largest ice rinks. Summer also provides you with a plethora of possibilities. Yoga and fitness courses, volleyball, and boat rentals are just a few of the entertaining options available. And strolling around the park isn't the only method to get around. Ride your bike, rollerblade, skateboard, or segue on the broad paths. Also, don't miss the open-air movie theater, which is the ideal spot for watching a movie beneath the stars. 10. Novo Divici Convent. The Novo, Novo Divici Convent is housed Novo Divici Convent. in a beautiful edifice, was originally a fortress and is steeped oh. in history. When in Moscow, pay a visit to this fascinating location. The monastery, which was founded in 1524, is home to four cathedrals, the most notable of which being Smolensk Cathedral, which features exquisite 16th century ah, murals. I it's see, like stepping back in time as you go around the grounds. Many renowned Soviet leaders, including Boris Yeltsin and Nikita Khrushchev, are buried in the Novo de Vichy Cemetery. The Russia fuck? is home to a plethora of magnificent religious structures. The Novo de Vichy convent, however, is without a doubt one of the most beautiful. It's one of Moscow's most magnificent cloisters. Located yeah, you, like to build all this is gonna take so long. To build all this without a doubt so one long. of the most beautiful. It's one of Moscow's most magnificent cloisters. Located in the city's southwest corner, where the Moskva River bends to form a peninsula. It is a magnificent architectural monument and one of Moscow's most popular tourist destinations. That is crazy, guys. Because my top three, Gum, uh, the, the, uh, the Cathedral, and... Uh, what's that? Hold up. And that park. Uh, I forgot the park. What, what did you call it? No, actually, I want to see some art. I want to understand why some people love art. I want to understand why people love art so much. So I want to understand. So probably uh, Tredyokov Gallery. Those are the, those are my top three. But anyways, if you're from Russia or anywhere, or you watching this video from wherever you're from, let me know where you. Let me know your top three places that you guys would love. If you guys would go, if you guys were to go to Moscow, where you guys would visit in Moscow. So let me know that about that, guys. Down in the comment section below. Anyways, hey. Thank you guys for watching. It's your old boy, frankly, turning into another reaction video. Do not forget to hit, the, hit that subscribe button, guys. Let's get to 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And don't forget to hit the like button. Let's get to 50 likes. 50 likes on the video. And comment down in the comment section your thoughts or opinion on the video. And answer some of the questions that I'm going to ask that I asked throughout the whole video down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.